Hello, I'm Charlie Taylor and welcome to Chapter 7. This short segment of our video will be the last one dedicated to eavesdropping devices and techniques. We have thus far talked about radio bugs, telephone wiretaps, and other ways to intercept your conversations. And while we've talked about the fact that many of these are very difficult to detect, but nonetheless are detectable with the right equipment and the knowledge. What we haven't discussed is a very simple hardwired microphone which can be detected only through a very thorough physical inspection of the premises. Well, I guess I should clarify that statement, since some microphones can be electronically detectable with a nonlinear junction detector, but you can also buy some very simple microphones which cannot be. While this type of attack may take several hours to install and to run the wires, it is nevertheless a very real threat if the bad guy has the time. This is why the very, very thorough physical inspection of your offices by a knowledgeable TSEM technician is the most time-consuming portion of a sweep. Take a minute right now to look around your room where you're sitting and think of every place you could hide a miniature microphone or a microchip. Start with your TV or computer, then your lamps and every other item that has some kind of an electrical connection. Then look at your smoke detectors, your alarm system, your intercom systems or your thermostats, anything that's connected to a pair of wires that are leaving your room. All of these can be used for a hardwired microphone. It's important for you to know that a very professional eavesdropper can be very clever and use hundreds of ways to plant miniature microphones. Now I want to talk about one other eavesdropping technique. First of all, know that all cellular phone calls can be easily intercepted. And with special equipment, I could selectively target anyone's particular cell phone. In other words, if I need to target and intercept all the phone calls from your CEO over his cell phone, then I could easily do it. And if I can do it, so can the bad guys. And believe me, they do. So please tell your executives that they should not discuss sensitive information on their cell phones. If you remember in an earlier chapter, I talked about how employees are the weakest link in even a good security plan. So they should be made aware of this also. In other words, if they're secretly having an affair, or perhaps are in the closet about their sexual preferences, then they should not be using their cell phones to discuss these matters. Remember, a smart bad guy will use every tool at his disposal to help him accomplish his goal. And intercepting your employee's cell phone calls and using that information for blackmail is a very good place to start. Oh, by the way, you can buy commercially available cell phones with the ability to encrypt all of the cell phone calls. So you might want to look into this. Okay, up to now, every eavesdropping technique that we've discussed has been designed to intercept audio conversations. So now I'd like to briefly touch on video intercepts and computer attacks. By now, you've all received some type of junk email selling miniature TV cameras which connect to radio transmitters. Personally, I don't see that much of an espionage threat with these devices. Perhaps if there was a pinhole camera located directly over a desk with sensitive documents, or pointed at a whiteboard that was, be used, that was being used as part of a strategic planning session, then it might make better sense to me. However, there are so many better ways to intercept meaningful data, and I would think the bad guys would use one of those techniques. Anyway, that's just what I think, and that doesn't make me right. I guess video makes much better sense than a domestic situation, where one spouse suspects the other of bringing home a lover, or if you have a weirdo neighbor that's trying to spy into your bedroom. I hate to admit it, but I guess our society has more than just a few voyeurs. And you should probably be very concerned about this for yourselves personally. However, what really does concern me is the development of hardware devices and software that are designed to capture every keystroke typed on your computer. Some of these are simple devices that are designed to quickly connect between your computer and the keyboard, as you can see in the photos. These quick plant devices are designed to capture every keystroke you type and can be quickly installed by just about anyone, including your janitorial staff. As you see, these devices are designed to look like normal computer hardware. So be aware. Perhaps what concerns me the most is all the readily available spyware programs. 
These simple software programs can be quickly installed on a computer by anyone. For that matter, someone can send one of these programs over the internet to your computer. The next time you click on a link to a website, or you try to open an attached document in an email, you may be downloading a spyware program. Then the software would capture all of your emails, your web traffic, and your spreadsheet and word processing documents, and then silently transmit that data to an industrial spy over your internet connection. This is obviously very scary stuff. And while there are several commercially available software programs designed to detect and eliminate these types of attacks, the really good computer guys are creating ways to avoid these detection programs. I'm certainly not an expert in this field, so I'm not really going to try to go any further. However, you should take this threat very seriously and consider hiring companies that specialize in computer security. Or at a minimum, buy spyware detection programs and install them on each computer in your office. Okay, this wraps up our discussion of electronic eavesdropping devices and techniques. And to be honest with you, we've only touched on the basics. I know it was more than what some of you really wanted, but it's important that you understand these attacks and why a TSCM professional needs to be properly equipped and very knowledgeable. The next chapter deals with the subject of trade secret information and how to assess your threat levels. I'll see you there.